Hi YouTubers, welcome to Bertie Bongo. Uh, yeah, we've had a few problems with it. We've only driven about 60, 70 miles at the most since we've owned it. And um, we've had a few problems and the first problem was actually starting it. And when it was started, it misfired and went cold. And um, I thought it was one of the uh, glow plugs that were faulty. So I took the engine covers off and inspected the glow plugs, took them out, tested them all and they were all fine. But what I realised was there's a bad electrical connection on the um, positive rail to the glow plugs. So I fixed that problem and uh, that's done. And I thought what I'd do is I'll install an indicator light to show when the glow plugs have actually got power and I've done that and I've run two wires up here and there's a little indicator light on the plastic cover that goes across here. I've also fitted an additional um, temperature sensor which is there and um, there's a, a hole there you can um, it doesn't thread in but you can actually insert another temperature sensor in there I've done that and that actually gives an indication in degrees centigrade from a gauge sitting there. Uh, another problem I found with the van is the handbrake was sticking and the reason for that is um, whoever had this apart in the, in the past put all these cables on top of this bracket which meant when the plastic cover was on it was pinching all the cables and the actual handbrake cable should be underneath this bracket and it was they, all those were lying across the top so that was assembled wrong and uh, the other thing I've had is a water leak and um, this was fitted in there which is not a genuine uh, Mazda part bongo part and basically what's happened is uh, this has developed a leak it's got a hole in it just there can you see it just there the water was squirting out that just found a water leak on the master bongo just here on this water hose look press it the water comes out look Hopefully that's coming across on the camera. Just there, if I press it, see the water coming out of it. And you can see it's been squirting out here a long time because it's rusted the pipe here and the one below it. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to come up a way to sort this problem out. And um, you can see there's been a problem here in the past because somebody's actually brazed this connection that, that's brazing or soldering so what they've done they've cut it and I think they've brazed it which is not the right thing to do so what I'm going to do is try and fit this in here so it may mean um, shortening this pipe here cutting this brazing end off with a hacksaw and then using new rubber pipe and fitting this in here to solve the problem so that's what I'm working on at the moment. The other thing I found, the heater didn't work because there wasn't enough water in the system. There was nothing in the header tank water. And the other thing I discovered, um, there wasn't a lot of oil in it. Now, whether there's an oil leak somewhere, which is uh, leaking the oil away, I don't know. I'm hoping the head's not cracked because it's quite serious if it is and because uh, of lack of water but 60 70 miles I've done at the most and I've hit problems so hopefully I'm going to be able to sort it out right I've cut a piece off the pipe here so I've got a big space there to work in and this is the pipe I'll cut off do you think this sharp edge here can you see it look at can you see it that sharp bit there do you think that's what's cut the pipe what do you think looks like it's been brazed 
So that was on there, and then a rubber hose went on there. Do you think that's why there's a hole in the side, by any chance? By that lump there, do you think? I think it does. What a pain in the backside this is. So I've gone from this grotty bit of rubber hose to copper teepees and all these clamps and I'm just trying to fill up put the antifreeze back in but the problem is I can't get the top off the container with the antifreeze there's a safety catch on it and I press it in and I just can't get it open Jane's bleeding the uh, water system any bubbles in it? Yeah. I bubbles. You get to a point, like they said, it's um, oh, there's a name for it, isn't it? Cavitation from the pump. Well, it it turns the water up that much, it creates bubbles. Which god are you worshipping? You worshipping the petrol god? Om. Om. <laughs> <laughs> what a crazy system, isn't it? That is definitely bubbles, isn't it? It's standing right next to the engine, it's, it's quite flat, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 